Hi, for this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to put a membership function onto your WordPress page. And this means that people can come and join your page and have access to more content, videos, whatever else you want them to be able to see. You can also set up several different types of memberships on your page as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the best way to do this. The first thing we're going to do is after we log into our WordPress page, we're going to go into our plugins. Once I get there, I'm going to click on Add New and I'm going to look for a membership plugin and click on search plugins. Now here on the top we see that we have one with four stars called membership and this allows us to turn it into a fully functioning membership site. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install now and click on OK. Once it's unpacked I'm going to click on activate plugin. Scrolling down you can see that we can click on Visit Plugin Site, and this is going to give you more information about how to install this for your WordPress, for your WordPress page, as well as different things that it offers and how to get it to fulfill everything that the company has put into it for you. I'm going to scroll up. Now you'll see that at the top we've got a membership tab, and this allows us to do a quick start. Let's go ahead and click on the quick start, and this gives us each step we're supposed to take to go through. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a category. I'm going to go into my membership tab first and this is our membership dashboard. And you'll see here on the right hand side it also has the quick start guide that it had put in before. I'm going to go ahead and click on enable it where it asks if I want to enable the 2.0.7 plugin. And let's go ahead and edit our options. And here it allows us to choose our membership levels. And I'm going to go in and click edit levels. Let's go ahead and add some levels in. The first thing I'm going to do is add new and we're going to put this as the gold level. And a person who is in gold levels are able to look at what is dropped here. These are our positive rules. So I want gold level to be able to see posts, pages, categories, comments, menus, and groups. You'll see once you pull them in here, then they have their own boxes down below. And here it's going to allow us to check which pages we want to be covered by these rules. The thank you page, the opt-in page, the membership welcome, overview, login, cancellation, and the sample page. Underneath, we can choose which posts they can see. And I'm going to click all of them. Underneath are the negative rules. This means that these are areas that you don't want the members of this gold group to have access to, and I want them to have access to everything, so I'm going to leave it alone. This will send us pings if a member joins or leaves the level, and underneath are associated roles. So if you want a specific WordPress role to be assigned to the users in this section, you can put it here. So I want the administrator to be able to access this group, and I'm going to click Add and now I have a gold level. Let's go ahead and add another level just so I can show you the differences between the two. The next one is going to be called the silver level and these ones will be able to see posts and pages. They will also be able to see downloads and short codes. And up here I'm going to take it so they can't see comments for this group and I'm going to stick that under negative rules. Going up further I want to make sure that they can see the short code, that they can download, have the group name, that they can see all of the pages and the post titles. The only thing that they're not going to be able to do is get to read or make comments on the posts. And I'm not going to do any pinging. And the associated role with this will be the editor. And I'm going to click Add. Now I'm going to click on Edit Subscriptions. I'm going to click on Add New. And these will be the gold subscriptions that the gold level can come into. And my subscription description is these folks get the most content and the best of the site. And then going down, it's going to show us what the subscriber must go through first. And I'm going to let them start wherever they want. So I'm going to click gold level and drop it down here. I'm going to go ahead and choose that they'll come in at the silver level. And I'm doing that so I can show you what their modes are. This will allow us to choose if it's finite, meaning that they will be at this level for a set period of time, indefinite, which means they'll be at it forever, or serial, which means that they'll be there for a set level of time and then it's renewed at the same level. I'm going to go ahead and put this as finite, and they'll be at this level for seven days 
and then they'll be able to move up to the gold level. And let's say the price for this is going to be $5. After that, they can go to the gold level, and I'm going to pull that down to the next box and drop it here. And this, they will be at the gold level indefinitely. And this will be for 365 days. And the price for this will be $7. And we could keep going. Again, we have our subscription pings and leaving pings, and I'm going to click on Add. Let's look at our gateways. Right now, it comes through with a free subscription, PayPal Express with subscriptions, and PayPal Express with a single payment. Let's go ahead and take a look at PayPal Express with subscriptions. Here, you put in your PayPal email address. Put in the country where your PayPal address is, the currency, whether it's a live site or a test mode, otherwise known as a sandbox, and then we've got our subscription buttons, and click on Save Changes. That means that when a new member joins your site, they can choose one of these three options. Let's look at our URL groups now. No URL groups have been set up, so let's go ahead and add a new one. The group name for the first one is going to be Tutorial Students. And if they've got a particular page, we can put that right here. Let's say we want to take them to WordPress Tutorial Hub dot com backslash manually backslash tutorial student. And then scroll down. Show if you want to remove a query string value prior to them checking the URL, or if you want to use a regular expression and click on Add Group. So now we have a group name. We can edit our pings, we can edit our options, and a stranger who comes to your site can be set to no access at all, silver level, or gold level. Well, it doesn't really make any sense to have them at silver level, but if you put them at no access to content, they can't see anything. So you might want to put in, say, a bronze level that is free but allows them to see certain parts of the site. If you allow free user registration on your site, then you can choose a subscription they will originally have. If you're using paid subscriptions, just set this to none. You can also enable incomplete sign-up accounts, which I don't recommend, but you can still use. Next is the registration page, so if they want to register for your site, they can do that right here. And I'm going to have them go to the opt-in page. Underneath is the account page, so if they want to see their account or make a payment to their account, let's have them go ahead and take a look at their membership overview page. Underneath is their protected content page. This page is going to be displayed if they've tried to access a post or a page directly or through a link, so you can turn one of these into protected content. This means that users are not going to be able to see it. They actually have to be directed to this page through another part of your site. They can't go directly into it. Underneath, we have our shortcode protected content. This is if you have parts of a post or page that you want to put in WordPress shortcodes. Just put them all in right here. You can tell it whether to use shortcodes visible by default or shortcodes are protected by default. A no access message that you can put in there if the content protected by the shortcode can't be shown. We also have our downloads and media protection. This will actually remap their perceived location and that way these are protected. If the user does find these files on your server, they may still be able to download it, so be very careful about the URLs that you put out there. Underneath, you can do a More Tag Default, and this sets your visibility for a post or page. Underneath, choose your payment currency, your membership renewal, how many days you would like them to go by before they renew, and I'm going to put that to 365, and if you want to put a membership upgrade time limit, meaning that if they've just joined, you may want them to have to wait, say, 7 days or 14 days before they can move up, and you would set that in here. Underneath here are the invitation codes on the registration panel, and you're going to put available codes on each new line, and you can require them to check this box off. That means that if you send them an email with a code that they need to enter your website and join it, this is where you're going to take care of that. Simply click on Require Invite Codes, and then put the codes that you allow into this box. If they put in that code as well, then that means they're going to be able to join. And click on Save Changes. Now let's go up and look at Edit Members. Right now, this has me in as the only member, but once more members start to join, you can filter by subscriptions, you can filter by level, gold level or silver level, filter by their status, active or inactive, and so on. If you need to delete someone, you can do that in here as well.
and now you can see we've got all of those pages that we added right along the top in our menu. So that's all for this tutorial, but I'm going to do a second part of this tutorial that's going to give you more information about how to set up your logins, your memberships, etc. So thanks for listening. Don't forget to check out the next one to get even more information, and I'll see you then.